match 9th D may i have your attention please all of you sitting on the very first match i need that give reminders to keep quiet stand up amash i don't know what you are doing sir Ten times I'm giving, I'm waiting for you. That when you will keep quiet, and when I will start my lesson. And arguments are ready already. Game lessons. Sit at home, those who are not interested in listening to the teacher. Even when you wear a mask, it is quite perceivable that you are talking. If I see any one of you talking now, anyone, you are not a privileged class sitting on a very first bench and going to write the talk. Ten minutes ago, you did tell me. I have written all the points. Only two, three desks are there. Those who are involved in noting down the points. Sit down. Thank you so much, Mochi. I am so grateful that you are noting down the points. This is the way we start the lecture. Yes, I have go out of the class. Still now you are talking. That's why I took your name. That's why I took your name. We are on page one one six. We have already read about Bruno, Baba, Varun, same thing. Two pet names are there. Firstly, they used to call him Baba. Uh, Bruno. Then uh, after when he started growing up and she started taking care of him just like a baby, she started calling him Baba. Yeah. So I'm talking about the slot beer which Arthur's wife adopted and just took care of the way we take care of the babies, right? So now Bruno was finally sent to zoo when he was out growing. He was just equal. Or more than the height of a sapien dog. So Arthur and his wife they were have two a sapien dogs also, quite tall in height. And now he has outgrown the height of these dogs also, so he looks quite huge and big. So people in the neighborhood they started, especially tenants in the house, they were having kids, so they were scared of this deer, and they requested Arthur and his wife that they should do something about it. Finally. It was decided that Bruno will be sent to Marshall Zoo. So when he was sent, we have discussed, I guess, when Arthur's wife was inconsolable. I already discussed what is the meaning of inconsolable. The person who is not stopping uh, showing their concern. She was crying literally. She could not concentrate on anything else. She was fretting. What was the meaning of fretting? Raise your hand. I discussed yesterday only. Yes. 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 When you are so worried that you start feeling weak, you do not concentrate on any other thing. You start fretting, right? So, uh, author's wife was inconsolable. She was fretting. Same was the condition of Bruno also in the zoo. So, in the cage, he was also fretting. He was not able to eat anything. He was also feeling sad, right? And he was did not speak, but they do express their. Uh, by the gestures, by the reaction. So now we will be reading that how uh, after you can say separation, she decides that she will be visiting Baba over there. She goes in the zoo, Mysore Zoo. She meets the superintendent over there. She will she will be requesting them, and they thought friends of author said that no, he's not going to recognize you now because your beer has shifted there. He will be. Uh, the whole of that surroundings. But when she went over there, I told you love is reciprocal. Baba reciprocated. He also showered love the way Arthur's wife was waiting to meet him. He was also waiting for her. Both of them were inseparable. For three hours, she was there with him. She took a lot of things, all the eatables, whatever she was having at home, cakes, laminate, the list is there in the chapter we will be reading. 
So he was so happy to be with him, and she never wanted to get separated. So they decided a big decision of their life that she wanted Bruno back by all means. Whether she gets the journey, Bruno returns journey to Bangalore. So whether that journey will be fulfilled or not, that I am not going to disclose. Okay. So she is going to make a try that Bruno should go back to Bangalore. But let's see what happens. Harmeet and Pratiksha, am I audible to you? Only two children are there. Okay, fine. So, page 116, when I start reading, does not mean it's let's stop now. So, page 116, paragraph number uh, 15. Right? Uh, let's let's read paragraph 14 also. We have read half of it. We all missed him greatly, but in a sense, we were relieved. My wife was inconsolable. She wept and fretted. For the first few days, she would not eat a thing. Then she wrote a number of letters to the curator of the place. So how was Baba? Back came the reply, well, but fretting, he refuses to eat. The reply came from the zoo that beer was also not eating anything. He was also fretting. She was again bored too after listening to that. After that, friends visiting my soul, but begged to make a point of going to the zoo and see how Baba was getting along. They reported that he was well, but looked very thin and sad. All the keepers at the zoo said he was fretting. For three months, I managed to restrain my wife. Underline this. So she did not go to meet Baba for three long months. Then she said one day, I must see Baba. Either you take me by car or I will go myself by bus or train so I could survive her. So that was a declaration made by wife that if you take me, it's okay. If you do not take me, even then I will manage by bus or by train. So she wanted to see Baba by all means. Hanji Beta, you better, uh, he's uh, bothered while sitting with you. Yeah, he then uh, friends had conjectured that we are not recognize her. Conjectured meaning is given. Everybody had an opinion, right? They had opinion that she is going to meet Baba after three months. No one is not at all going to recognize her even. All the friends of Uttar who gave advice that you want to be fitted to Zoom. Same friends now saying that. I had thought so too. Uttar thought, yeah, they are right in a way. But while she was yet some yards from his cage, Baba saw her and recognized her. He howled with happiness. She ran up to him, patted him through the bars and he stood on his head in delight. So that is the way animals express their love. So the moment we are saw from a distance that Arthur's wife is coming, he started producing howling sounds, he started showing excitement. Finally, he finally stood on his head in delight. He was so happy. For the next three hours, underline this, she would not leave that cage. What did they do? She gave him tea, lemonade, cakes, ice cream, and what not. Means everything she brought uh, for that beer. Then closing time came and we had to leave. My wife cried bitterly. Baba cried bitterly. Even the hardened curator and the keepers felt different. As for me, I had reconciled myself to what I knew was going to happen next. The author then saw that my wife is crying like anything. Beer is also crying. Even the curator, the person who was taking care of the cage over there, and other uh, people in authority, they were also sad to see that how pure love is the example in front of them, that how author's wife and dear both are connected to each other. So author can have ideas of what is going to happen. He was sure that my wife is not going to go without taking this beer back now. So he was having this idea. Oh, please, sir, he asked the curator, may I have my Baba back? Hesitantly, he answered, madam, he belongs to the zoo. 
and is government property now. I cannot give away government property, but if my boss, the superintendent at Bangalore, agrees, certainly you may have him back. So he says, I do not have the authority to give the power back to you. This is government authority. But yes, one superintendent who is the head of me also, he can take the decision. Here followed the return journey to Bangalore and a visit to the superintendent's bungalow. A tearful pleading, pleading his request. Baba and I are both fretting for each other. Will you please give him back to me? He was a kind-hearted man. Underline this is the correct type of superintendent. He was a kind-hearted man and consented. When they met superintendent, he gave his consent. He said, okay, if you are unable to bear the loss, you have to take the care with you. Not only that, but he wrote to the curator, telling him to lend us a cage for transporting the beer to Bangalore. See, superintendent was so kind-hearted, he gave the consent, yes, you can take the beer. Along with that, he also wrote a letter to the curator, because curator is taking care of the cage, we are wearing this also. He says that also give them a cage, lend them a cage, so that beer can be transported easily. So you can very well imagine what a good person he was. Back we went to Mysore again, armed with the superintendent's letter. Baba was driven into a small cage and hoisted on top of the car. So uh, they managed anyhow on top of the car, how to set the cage and beer inside. The cage was tied up securely and a slow and careful return journey to Bangalore was accomplished. So Bruno is finally back in Bangalore with the help of curator, with the help of superintendent, they tied up uh, the cage at the top of the car of author and how they reached back. Once home, a squad of police were engaged for special work in our compound. So fortunately, uh, author was having big home. Uh, he was having space at house. So they hired police and the special work started in the compound. An island was made for Baba. Underline this, special arrangements made for Baba. Because he's huge enough not to be kept at home the way he was residing earlier. It was 20 feet long and 15 feet wide. Fine, 20 feet long and uh, normal human being is 5 feet 5 something fine. So uh, 20 feet you can very well imagine. So they uh, average age, uh, average height and strength is up to 5 feet. Average and 5 feet you can say. So, 20 feet equivalent to a uh, height of 4 feet. So, 20 feet uh, long and 15 feet wide place was made ready for Baba. A dry pit was prepared more 6 feet wide and means the situation they reside in forest area. They have pits also. Uh, they have... Uh, they just drink water from natural water bodies, natural resources. Fine, they have natural surroundings, trees and plants. Whatever was required, they created an island kind of thing for Baba there. A wooden box that once housed the fowls was brought and put on the island for Baba to sleep at night. So a shelter was also made so that if at night time, if rainy weather is there, you know, he cannot uh, sleep in open. So proper house was made. Straw was placed inside to keep him warm. Jo raw material hota hai, straw, right? Dry grass to carry him. And his baby, the nard stump, along with his gun, the piece of bamboo, both of which had been sentimentally preserved since he had been sent away to the zoo, but put back to him to play with. Everybody has some favorite toys when for kids. You do not separate with particular toys. Similarly, Baba was having that stick which he used to play while making a gun, remember? Would hold that stick and he would they, they would say Baba shoot he would pick out that stick so that stick and that bundle of wood which he would hold uh, to cradle the baby when I to the that also they have kept already safe so they put both these things over there in a few days the police hoisted the cage onto the island <coughs> and Baba was released so till then Baba was in cage only. 
uh, where Ireland was ready, that place was ready, they kept over there. He was released from the cage. He was so happy, he was so delighted. Delighted means happy. And standing on his hind legs, the front legs, like he started jumping and moving and rolling. He pointed his gun, prattled his baby. My wife spent hours sitting on a chair there while he sat on her lap. He was 15 months old and pretty heavy too. So now he's, what is the current age of Baba? He's 15 months old, a year older, right? The way my wife reaches the island and leaves, it is interesting. I have tied a rope to the overhanging branch of a mango tree with a loop at its end. And then one foot in the loop, she kicks off with the other to bridge the six foot foot gap that constitutes the width of the surrounding pit. So they have not, you know, uh, made any gate over there that Baba can come out and do. So very difficult way to enter that pit, that island, which they have uh, made four walls are there, nobody can enter, Baba cannot leave. So the author has managed to tie a rope and she has to hang herself with the rope and in that way she is reaching there. So you can say she was deeply attached with the deer that she was taking that much effort for to The return journey is made the same way. So the way to enter and to come back was with the rope only. Yeah? The, but uh, who can say now that a sloth deer has no sense of affection, no memory, and no individual characteristics? Chapter ends with a question mark. This is a question for all of us. We all say we have such kind of thinking. When you see geographical channel or discovery channel, you might have seen many animals, birds, they are being watched by the cameraman all the time. Right? They, what they do is, there are proper people who have done studies of uh, particular animals and birds also. So they go to that place, the camera is 24 7, they, they record the behavior of animals and birds also. Only then conclusions are drawn. Right? And most of the conclusions they say that wild animals are not reliable, you cannot trust them, they can attack you at any time, they can kill you because right, they, eat, they can eat human beings also. So, in that way, they are saying that who can say now that a sloth bear, which who looks very ferocious when you look at sloth bear, taggy hair and pointed mouth, nobody will imagine that they are going to keep sloth bear as a pet. So, author and his wife, they proved it right and they kept bear, a sloth bear as one of the pets and they were succeeded in this, but they had to go through a lot of problems to continue the journey of keeping the wild animal at home. So what we have learned out of this chapter, already I have discussed things with you, that love is reciprocal. You give the love, you get love back from the animals in abundance. Secondly, we should not go for poaching, killing of animals, right? It is banned altogether now, but even then, whether it is banned or not, we should be human at least. We should not kill animals, they do have right to live. Right? Thirdly, uh, we should be compassionate towards animals, birds, and all the creatures of this world. Right? So this is a circle. Life cycle is something We know that many species are at verge of extinction now because they are being killed uh, by other species or they are being killed by human beings or any number of reasons are there. So if one species gets affected, we will also be get affected in one or the other way. We cannot even imagine. When we do not imagine life cycle, we are also involved in that. So we should take at least if you cannot raise them, at least if you cannot love them, you are scared of them, at least do not do any sort of harm to them. Right? And uh, you remember with which quote I started this chapter. So we have discussed actually many quotes, so you have to put three to four quotes. We discussed one of it first 
Animals do not forget blood given to them or showered on them. They never forget, right? And uh, I'm going to end this chapter again with a poll. Kindly write down. Shoot animals with camera, not with gun. Shoot animals with camera, not with gun. So this is one of the quotes I read somewhere written and I liked it. That they are meant to be, you know, uh, we, we are supposed to take their pictures. We should appreciate their beauty rather than shooting them with gun, shoot them with camera. That is it. If you cannot show your love to them, at least be kind towards them. Do not do anything. But if you are animal lover, do something for the sake of your street dogs, cats, um, do whosoever, whatever is your circumstance. If you can adopt very well and do it, but if you cannot, then at least give them food and shelter, right? Mm -hmm. So, yes, we do So, armed with the right, it is like they are having the right of taking back. So, that's why they have mentioned armed with the letter. So they were having formal authority, right? Uh, permission, formal permission from the heads. So now we will be discussing question on the different order again. I got him called her by accident. Yes, Vidra. First one, I uh, can do on your own and the paragraph and heading, you know, that I'm simply not doing the care of her. But this one you will do in the prayer notebook, page one by nine. Yes, Prachi. I go to for her wife, all three words. Who says this? The author says this. Second, who do him and her refer to? Yes, him refers to the sloth here and her refers to the author's wife. The way I speak, you do not write that way. What are you say? So, okay, no, yes, third man. What is the incident referred to here? So, the incident of catching the slot beer is mentioned here. Right? In one line, you're supposed to give an answer here. Yes, just a second question. Hold the heart. Yes, we have a second you're supposed to do it on fair notebook. Yes. Firstly, better our sentence is, he is put on his head in the light. Who does he refer to? He refers to the sloth He refers to the sloth beer. On Monday, I'll be collecting your notebooks, okay? And we prepare accordingly for the test also. Whatever we have covered so far, test will be there. Whatever test is there, but whatever we have covered so far, up any okay? This is the whole year. I already told you whatever was tested earlier, that can also be there. Means Tom Kuga Jitana syllabus over Anything can come, including this chapter. Anji, whatever we have done, yes. Yes, he was happy to see author's wife coming to meet him in the zoo. So he refers to the slot here. Second part, he was delighted to see the author's wife coming to meet him in the Mysore Zoo. In the zoo, it could After three. So after three months, we can add a second choice. We all listen greatly, but in a sense, we were relieved. Who does we all stand for? We all stand for wife. Uh, wife is not me. So wife cannot be there. What else? Author is French and son also. Right? So the down. Uh, we all stand for author, comma, his son, 